There are two sets of finalists for the Student Awards for Excellence in Architectural Technology. They are for Project and Report. These submissions celebrate the fantastic work of our students, the future chartered architectural technologists. The Student Awards demonstrate CIAT's ongoing commitment to recognising the work of students and their crucial role as architectural technology professionals and future leaders in the sector, both in the UK and across the globe. These awards are highly competitive with entrants from across our 33 accredited degree programmes. As chair of the judging panel, I was encouraged by the creative, innovative and forward-thinking high-quality work. The 12 finalists, which you're about to see, demonstrate the very best in architectural technology. Student Award for Excellence in Architectural Technology, report. The 2018 finalists are an investigation into the deep retrofit of an existing roof of a protected structure to achieve ENFIT standard. Gerard Fay from Galway Mayo Institute of Technology. This report outlines the identification and examination of deep retrofit options for a protected structure pitched roof upgrade, meeting the ENFIT standard. It analyzes three technical design solutions and their subsequent thermal and hygrothermal effect. Special Educational Needs Facilities An Analysis of the Necessities for Inclusion Simone Gray from City College Plymouth This research details the main features to be incorporated into a mainstream school that are necessary for the inclusion of children with additional needs An Investigation into the Sustainable Construction of Widespan Buildings Peter Jenkins from Sheffield Hallam University the overall aim of the report was to explore and appraise the options in optimising the proposed sustainable construction of a wide-span building, to investigate the regulatory and legislative issues around disabled access and universal design in protected structures. Declan Moran from Galway Mayo Institute of Technology. This report investigated the Irish regulatory and legislative constraints for disabled access and the adaptation of universal design requirements for protected structures by analysing the current Irish and European legislation for disabled access. Mind the performance gap. Embracing technology to enhance on-site performance. Erin O'Kane from Ulster University. A performance gap in the sector has been identified between the predicted performance of the buildings at the design stage and how they actually perform once constructed. This study highlights the performance gap from a Northern Ireland perspective, investigating issues with low energy design via a case study. In situ reinforcement of timber beams in a conservation setting. Darren Nelson from University of Central Lancashire. Conservation of structural timbers by minimal intervention is becoming increasingly important to preserve the heritage of buildings. An experimental study was undertaken to determine the strength of reinforced timber joists using the near surface mount method. In reverse order, the 2018 AT award winners are Commended Erin O'Kane from Ulster University for Mind the Performance Gap Embracing technology to enhance on-site performance. An interesting and relevant subject to architectural technology identifying the problems between designed performance and as-built performance alongside the lifespan characteristics. The dynamic nature of the position and placement of materials and components plus their assembly are identified and is theoretically promising with a clear method and structure, intelligent, informative and a professional introduction with clear aims, objectives and good analysis. Highly commended. Simone Gray from City College Plymouth for Special Educational Needs Facilities. An analysis of the necessities for inclusion. This research focused upon inclusivity and well-being linked to special needs facilities and the design of spaces for people who would benefit from such an environment. An interesting subject area, academic and well-researched with good context and clear aims and objectives. A very relevant topic with thorough analysis, well presented and clearly illustrated. The section on acoustics is the most developed and technically relevant section. Winner, 
Darren Nelson from University of Central Lancashire for in situ reinforcement of timber beams in a conservation setting. A research area that is topical and important for architectural technology, retrofit design, conservation and sustainability. Clearly articulated with research methodology, aims and objectives and detailed robust and well-conceived experimental methods. A broad range of tests and materials deployed and an excellent presentation of all aspects of the report. An interesting subject and the use of experiments is very promising.